Hi, as part of this session, what we are going to discuss how to use a map in LWC or otherwise how to process a map result comes from your Apex method in JavaScript controller of your Lightning Web component. That is what we are going to do. For this, um, I'm taking one simple example to showcase or to show lead status and count on Lightning Web component. So this results what we are going to do, we are going to send in the form of map and then we will process that map data in JavaScript controller. This is what we have to, uh, we are going to focus now. The main thing is how to process a map if you get the result in the form of map from our Apex method. That is important here. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, let me create a simple class called leads controller. And this is the leads controller. And I have a method called retrieve leads. If you observe here, the return type is map of string comma integer. And then I'm declaring a map called lead map. And I have an aggregate query to capture the lead status and count of leads group by status okay and i define the alias for everything here count of id is lead count and for status l status and preparing the map okay lead map dot put off aggregate result of get of l status aggregate result of obj this is one this is the instance uh, to capture the aggregate result okay and aggregate result dot get off but if you observe here i have string and integer here this is called as type casting why do we need to do type casting because if you capture like this directly aggregate result gives you the result in the form of object so to convert that into your string or integer according to your requirement then you can do type casting and return this map and now let's save this Now what we are going to do, we are going to create a small component, LWC component for processing this map. Okay, this map contains lead status as a key and lead count as a value. And now create component called lead status. count component that's it now to import this apex method what we have to do we just need to use the import method import statement here see here import retrieve leads from your apex class called leads controller and I want to use wire decorator and track decorator. So I'm importing before going to use them and declaring leads list as a array with track decorator. And I'm wiring our method called retrieve leads to a function called wired result okay and this result contains two properties always here one is data property one is error property so when you want to process data you have to use result dot data when you want to process errors if there is any error you can use result dot error right now we are working with the data right let's go with that 
if result dot data that means if it contains data and capturing the data into lead regs and loop through that lead regs and then how to capture simply to get the so this is a map map contains status and count right to get the status and count you just need to use key and lead regs of key lead regs of key means it gives you the value key means it gives you the key simply in our case key is status value is status count i mean lead count simply what we have to do this is the one we are just preparing json instance with value property this is our value property and key property but when you talk about this lead regs map you are using here this is the lead regs of key then it gives you the status okay and it gives sorry it gives you the status key gives you the status and lead regs of zero uh, of key gives you the count and now you are pushing that for each iteration you are pushing that json instance here to leads list what we are doing indirectly we are preparing a kind of record virtual record you can say here i mean we define value key properties nothing else and now we have to use html for displaying so let's go with this this is normal you can get this code uh, from lightning design system also okay so if you observe here it is just an icon you have a lightning icon and table and you can get this as sldes styles from lightning design system okay and in table body what i am going to use i am going to iterate through our leads list which we prepared with the help of our map and then see the immediate element should have key after template and then just adding this see here key lead rec as key lead rec dot key means it gives you status and dot value it gives you value but how we are doing it we processed our map which is returning uh, from our apex method and in javascript we prepared the list with the key and value properties we defined these properties okay now let's go to our meta file and then what we can do we want to expose to app page and home page so i am defining the targets for the same that's it and now let's save this now it is going to save successfully now let's add this component to our home page so if you observe here here i have home page right and then click on edit click on edit page see there is edit page and then you can add our component leads see lead status component lead status count component and if you observe 
we automatically get the result now save let's go back and see the result how it looks like now this is how you can see lead status leads count by status see that means in our system with open not contacted lead status we have 20 leads with working contacted we have 8 leads what we have done for this we just prepared a simple apex method which returns the um, result i mean which returns the status and count in the form of map with the help of aggregate results query and then what we did we processed map here in the function called wire result by wiring um, our method retrieve leads to a function called wired result here we are capturing the value based on the key and the key here and we are preparing the list for the same and we are iterating this list on html by using for each html directive that's it simple so here what we have to learn how to process map okay all the best and i will give you the reference it is about uh, configurations only okay you can have a look what all what all the configurations we have in the case of metadata file or meta file okay to expose our component to other type of pages in lightning experience even on lightning communities as well okay all the best please subscribe to salesforce tech book